Give me something original. A mini tribe original. Show. I just happened to be driving up Bedford Avenue and saw the lights on and uh, I decided that we were going to drop in and catch a little uh, guide with the uh, artist here, Fred Goodside. He's actually doing a project, here's Art Gura, he's doing a project and the title of the show is Signature or Signature, is that what you're calling it? Signature, Signature and right now this is a sig sign and uh, People that are coming by can sign their name, and uh, I'll make a signature for whoever comes by. Which and amounts Lauren, to I'll one make, of the I'll paintings. Make yours also, if you like. Well, let's take a little run around okay. the uh, gallery. Tell us a little bit about the paintings. Okay. The, 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 Come over here close so I can catch your audio here. Yeah. Okay. What, what I'm doing tonight is what I base these paintings on, and they're people's signatures. Uh, Whose signature is this? So this, this, this is. Uh, James Bradbury Thompson, so it's JBT, and the title of the painting is JBT Sig. Now that's acrylic on canvas? Acrylic on canvas. And that's probably, what, about six feet by five feet? Is that what size it is? Got, you got it exactly. Now this, this, this painting is from a, a maquette that's about the same color. So, okay, uh, how about this watercolor? The, the watercolor is... Uh, combination of all the signatures that I had gathered. So there were, there were 12 different signatures that I used. And uh, this one was like a, a composite, an intuitive form that, that used all of the uh, signatures that I had done. And, and, and this takes that form. Right. One of the things I noticed with the, uh, the recent work is that uh, before this you'd been working with uh, stuff that was digitally printed and then he sort of tiled them onto the canvases. So this actually has uh, seams in the paper, but some of the other pieces are just basically straight acrylic paintings, which I actually kind of like, just the straight paintings, Fred. You're, you're a hell of a painter. Well, thanks, Lauren. So get, a, get away from the technology. <laughs> but but the technology is another tool. But this, this one in particular, this is an earlier painting that was pasted together with, with the image printed out. And uh, the idea with the paper was to paint over it. So I painted over right. this and used this earlier painting from 2005. We got some more, some more watercolors we're going to look at. Variations on the uh, what I call the signature thing. Now, do the watercolors come first, or do the paintings come first, and then you? Turn them into watercolors? What? The leaf frog. What you're seeing here is the second stage of watercolors. This was one of the first watercolors. Uh, and that, that was based on... Uh, How about this piece? This, 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 this is one of the paintings that, have, that came out of the maquettes. And actually for this, this is a Chinese name. It's Li Jing Li. And her name is actually the same as the Book of Changes. And there's, there's, there's See, this is another one that's all just straight acrylic. Now, do you project these and then work, draw them in from a projection, or do you work them freehand or grid them out and I grid them out? They're, they're free, you know. Like and so they're not. There's no projection in this. No, there's no projection. Okay, they're that's great. The uh, uh, maquettes or the watercolors grid it off. There's this is nice too. Yeah, this is, um, there's a maquette for this also. And, yeah. You have a wonderful color sense, Fred. Let's run in the back room. I was working with black and white to try and make color with black and white. 
So I decided, why not make color with color? Uh, but it's a good, it's a good exercise. It's a large so piece here. Well, we'll make, let make me sort of pan around the gallery in the second space here. Yeah, uh, or, so the technology uh, allowed us to do this large one. Uh, which is a, a billboard printout. This was actually done by someone that basically has a huge digital printer, right? Yeah, so you just put together a file. That's right. And I then you sent it off and had them, and you've got one of these hanging on the front of the gallery space as well. Right. Now this is actually printed on some kind of a plastic yeah. fabric. A vinyl. This is, vinyl. This is a, a matte vinyl. It works much better than yours, but this vinyl, uh, the resolution is, is high. It's not like a billboard print. And the, the, the original file is a vector file, so it can be enlarged. This can be enlarged up to 30 feet, 30 by 30 wow. feet. Which was what the idea was originally to try to do this on the side of the building outside, 30 by 30 feet. But now, uh, for now, we settle for a 12 by 12. How, is, how about this piece? Now, you're getting into a lot of pattern as well, and I know that that kind of the fractal designs and stuff like that is one of the nice things about working with computers, but uh, how about its relationship to the pattern decorative movement? You're familiar with those guys, right? I guess so, but uh, these, these, these patterns I'm working on, I've been working with patterns as long as I can remember off and on, but right. I kind of shift from patterns to working with images, and here I've brought the patterns up again, because the patterns that I'm working with, they, they uh, kind of come from the idea of seeing repetition in nature. And, uh, right, the na natural fra fractals. This is a nice little selection. Now, some of these are. Is that watercolor that you've mounted on? What was that board? Yeah, they're. they're uh, it's a study for one of the front These are printouts for the watercolors. And then you work over them. And then right? paint them back into an acrylic. And you were painting it. This, this one here is a maquette. For the painting that you were oh, talking about. The pattern. Oh, okay. That's a very wonderful thing. Upside down, which is interesting. Here are some of your photographs that kind of uh, capture the kind of calligraphic line that you're uh, interested in. Yeah. Now, your studio is on the Bowery. Are these most of these from your neighborhood there on the Bowery? Yeah, some of them are from the Bowery. That's some nice. of them are from the neighborhood around the gallery. Oh, this is a great piece. What's the title of this one? Well, this is KK Sig. KK Sig. KK Sig. They're all the Sig is like the signature. 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 And I uh, put the title as the first the first the, for the, uh, the letters and the initials. So, how much time would you spend on, say, a painting like this from the the time that you receive the the signature until you basically get the whole thing done and ready to hang on the wall? Well, oh, and you've got a handmade frame and painted frame on this as well. I got the signature two years ago and it turned into a watercolor and then it turned into another watercolor and it turned into a maquette. Then the maquette was glued off and uh, I drew it free and onto the canvas. The canvas actually was started in 1986. So 1986? Yeah, 1986. But it was just penciled in. It was something okay. that I started and I gave up on. I couldn't follow through with the kind of painting I was doing. That's only 25 years, Fred. <laughs> and then we're going to pan over a group of uh, watercolors. These are the most important the first one of the starting series. This is one of the uh, second stage watercolors where I worked into them with the border, which evolved into the work on the series. All right, so thanks for a little tour, Fred. What Thanks. was the title of the show? Sig Nature. Sig Nature. Sig Nature, putting a hum the human touch into the nature paintings I was doing. All right. Here at Sideshow. And thank you, Kate. Thanks, Mini Tribe. Yeah, thank you. What's your name? James Gomb.